What's up, Sun Clan family? This is Radiance, and welcome back to my channel, Chasing Sunray. Today, we are going to be learning how to make a basic bikini cup. I will be showing you three different techniques inside of this video. I decided to make this video because I use, you know, these cups for a lot of things. So instead of just, you know, repeatedly doing it over and over in each tutorial, I decided to do a tutorial for its own self. That doesn't make sense, but you get what I mean. So let's get started. You're going to just want to need, you're going to need um some regular old cotton and a 3.5 millimeter hook. And when I say cotton, I mean um, worsted weight. I am making a size medium cup in this pattern, but I shall put all of the sizes in the description box. So yeah, I'm just going to chain up 17 for my um size medium cup. And like I said, you know, we use this we use this as a base pattern for so many things. So why not just um, you know, make this? And if you are here from the body con dress tutorial, you don't have to um in the in the tutorial I did seven rounds. You can add or subtract as many rounds as you would like for the birthday body con dress. You don't have to do seven because I think I told you you had to do seven in there, but you don't. You don't. So yeah, yeah. At the end of this, all you're gonna want to do is just double crochet in the third chain from the hook, <clears throat> and then double crochet all the way down for the rest of the um chains. So yeah, double crochet in the third chain from the hook and all the way down. Yeah, it was like early early in the morning. I just woke up. Trying to hurry up and do this tutorial so I can get this body comp birthday dress tutorial out for you guys. It's definitely been, you know, long enough. You guys have been asking me for months for the birthday body comp dress and finally getting it out there. So, yeah, here we are coming up on the end of this. And most of the time, some people will just start working immediately across. But no, 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 we're not doing that here. We're not doing that here. And I will explain to you why. So, yeah, what's for round two? You're just going to, this is where we're going to be adding. This is where we start turning at the top. Once we work our way all the way back down first, we'll be, you know, adding our increase right there at the tip of that. And the reason I do this is because I don't want to leave a hole in the middle of the cups. But yeah, just chain two, turn your work, and you're going to double crochet all the way down to get to um <clears throat> the turning point and again i do mine like this because if we were to start if we were to start working on the other side immediately after the first row it would kind of leave like a gap down the center of the cup and we don't want that so yeah that's why we do it like this but yeah here we are coming up on that last double crochet <laughs> now here this is where we're going to work at you can see this little hole right there you see that you make sure you can see it real real good so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about right there it's basically like the chain the turning um the chain two from the first round that's what we're working into you just for the first technique I'm going to teach you you just place five double crochet into the center five double crochet and remember if you're a beginner I always put um a stitch marker in the third double crochet of the five increase so you know you know where you're going to be increasing at but yeah you just put five into the center of it and there is where you would put your stitch marker in the third stitch and then you're just going to continue to work all the way down to get to um you know all the way down to the last stitch and that is the first technique now if you were going to do your cup like that you would just continue repeating that row increasing in that center stitch every time until you get your cup to the size that you want it or you can do this next technique which is chain two turn your work and i will um explain it to you once we get to back to the top of this cup
So yeah, here we are coming up on the center of this cup. Now this is the second technique that you can do. The second technique is you're going to put two double crochet in the center one. See that? Then you're going to chain one and then put two more into the center. That is the other technique. Again, if you like this technique more, you would work that for every row. And instead of placing your five increase in the third stitch, you will actually be putting it in a center chain. And I found with this, there's really not much difference between that and the first techniques besides aesthetic looks like. With the five stitches, with a five stitch increase, it has a more closed off look. With the two double crochet chain, one, two double crochet, it has a more of an open, um, open look to it. So yeah, those are the two of the techniques that, um, you know, you can use to make these cups. And again, you just keep repeating the same pattern over and over, increasing at the center every time you get there until you get the amount of rows that you want. And I'm just going to speed through this next row because I want to show you how to do the cutout, um, cutout cups as well. For those of you who want to make the birthday bodycon dress exactly like how I made it originally, you can just, um, you know, follow this to learn how to make the cutouts. But I forgot what I was telling y'all before that. <clears throat> Lord, my mind, my mind, my mind. But yeah, here we are. Now I'm just going to show you how to do the cutout, like in the original dress. That is four rows. We have four rows right here. This is the fifth one. You're going to chain three. The chain three counts as two, as one double crochet, chain one. Of course, that first double crochet counts as a stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next one. You're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, go into the next one. Chain one, skip the next stitch, go into the next one. You're going to continue that down all the way till you get to the stitch before the center stitch. <clears throat> now here's where we're going to change it up. Again, you still have to do five to increase. So the first stitch is going to be a chain. That's one. That counts as the first out of the five. It's one. Then you're going to double crochet right into there. That's two. Then you're going to chain one. That is your third. Then you're going to double crochet in. That is your fourth. And then you're going to chain one more. And that will count as your fifth and last of the increase. And then you're just going to continue working as we have been. The um, Double crochet, chain one. Skip the next stitch. Double crochet, chain one. Skip the next stitch. You know, repeat the pattern. And that is how you get the cutout section of the cup. And again, if you are following it um, for the birthday body contrast, you want it exactly like this. This is what you need to do. This is if you um you do the mesh on the fourth and sixth. No, the fifth. I'm sorry, the fifth and seventh rows for the birthday body contrast. But yeah, there you have it. That's how you do that. Now I'm gonna show you how to fill in. This you're just going to chain two, turn your work that counts as the first. Then you're just going to place one double crochet in each chain space and in each double crochet. So that was a chain space. There's a double crochet. You just put one inside the chain space, double crochet. Then you just continue that all the way down to fill in the um the mesh for the next row. And once you get to the top, you do everything just like we've been doing. Here we are at the top of it. Again, you know, put double crochet in a double crochet. Double crochet in a chain space. Double crochet in that double crochet. And then you're going to increase in the middle chain space. So you're going to put five double crochet inside of that centerpiece you can either do five double crochet or you can do two double crochet chain one two double crochet depending on your preference
And so, yep, that's what it should look like. And then you're just going to continue working down as you've been doing. You want it in the double crochet, you want it in the chain space, and so on and so on. Till you get to the very end of the row. And then once you get to the end of this, we're going to do um, one more row of mesh. And we'll, you know, we'll repeat the mesh and do it the exact same way as we did the first set of mesh. <clears throat> so yeah, here we are coming up on the very end of this. Y'all, my throat is like so itchy this morning. It's ridiculous. So yeah, this is what it should look like so far. We're going to do another row of cutout. So yeah, I'm just going to chain three, and again, that counts as a double crochet and a um, chain one. And turn your work. You're just going to skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Yep, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and so on and so on until we get to the very top of the row. Here we are at the top where we will be doing the increase. So chain one counts as the first stitch of the increase. Double crochet into the center counts as the second. See how that looks? <clears throat> chain one counts as the third. Double crochet right back into there counts as the fourth. Chain one counts as the fifth. And then, you know, you just work it as you've been working it before. Chain one, skip stitch, double crochet in the next, and all the way down. And oops, I dropped my phone on my keyboard. Yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. Here we are coming up on the last of that. And then you're just going to want to um you're just gonna want to place another row of the field in. And actually at the end of this row, we are going to add our neck strap as well. So yeah. Y'all already know, put a um chain two turn and put a uh Double crochet in each chain space and each double crochet. And do that all the way down till you get to the very center. And I was like a little behind my video, but we did this row already before, so you should know how to you know how to do it. So yeah, here we are coming up on that middle part. And for this, we're just going to place one double crochet in the middle. You see, I'm getting ready to come right here at the middle. Place one double crochet in the middle, and then you're going to start chaining for your chains. Usually, I chain about 60, 70, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to chain all the way down. I'm just, you know, doing a small demonstration, because who has the time? And once you get down to the end, um, once you get down to the end of your next strap, you're going to want to place another double crochet in that chain, in that same chain space as the first double crochet. See, just place one right back in that same stitch and then continue double crocheting all the way down. Place them one in the chain space, one in the double crochet, one in the chain space like we've been doing and go all the way down. And you guys, that's it. You're done. You've learned how to do a basic cup. I taught you, you know, three different techniques. I hope this helps. Um, And if you are going back to the body conjurance, I will meet you back there so we can, you know, finish this up. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned some new techniques. Be sure to join my Facebook group, Chasing Sunrise Sun Clan, because, you know, 
that's the easiest way to get in touch with me for help on these projects. Oh, yeah, before I start talking about that, this is what, you know, your finished project should look like. You would just, you most of the time, just turn to work and start working across the bottom section of it. But, yeah, be sure to join the Facebook group because that's the best way to get in touch with me for help with projects. You know, to show me your projects. I do giveaways. You know, we're just a helpful little family in there. So, you guys, be sure to check that out and to join. I'll put the link, I'll put a link in the description box. And that is it, you guys. Until next time, stay sunny and happy hooking.